<laughs> please do not block the driveway. Hey, not the driveway. I don't know. to the ones we've seen everywhere else. Yeah, they fit more people as well. Yeah. Oh, and I, easily. Yeah. And if there's not enough for you in the side carriage thing, then you just sit behind the driver and you can put at least two people behind him as well. Hang off the side. So you've got seats for one, two, three, four, maybe a few more small people. The driver a couple of people behind the drive and you stick your stuff in the back. Yeah, it stays on if you're lucky. Oh look, nuns on a boat. Nuns on a boat. It was on this site that Seven Sisters landed on the 29th of October 1904 and were joyously welcomed by the people of Dumaguerte. And um, a couple of blogs we saw, they said to come and check out Freedom Park in the town centre. But um, we found it. <laughs> and this is it. We feel like they're probably doing some work to it. Um, come in the wrong season. Yeah, we've come at the wrong time to see the park. So they've obviously got a little stage there to do events and performances. And there's a flag up there. And so, you think it's probably quite nice normally, um, just not at the moment. Today we're off to Pulang Bato Waterfalls, which is really exciting. It's near uh, the next town, Valencia, and it's going to require us taking, I think, several different modes of transport, and this is the first one. the driver which waterfalls we wanted to go to because when we got off the uh, bus they're like waterfalls waterfalls and we're like yeah yeah that's where we want to go um so it turns out we've actually been brought to Casa Rora waterfalls which isn't where we wanted to go we wanted to go to the red uh the red rock waterfalls but it is really lovely here um and we've already paid the entrance fee and paid to get all the way up here the journey was a bit a bit, a bit crazy because we were going uphill the whole time and it felt like the tricycle driver or the tricycle itself it didn't feel like it was gonna it was gonna make it to the top it was just struggling and it was so loud and it was going slowly and I could smell the petrol <laughs> but we did make it and now we're here and it is really beautiful and we're right in the middle of the jungle um, and oh my goodness look at these massive bamboos they're humongous
come to the hot springs just down the road. I think this is going to be a lot nicer. Better? Warm? It's really nice, isn't it? It's really nice, isn't it? It's nice and warm. Our boat behind us. That's the boat that's going to take us scuba diving, um, which is really exciting and a bit nerve wracking because neither of us have done it before. Uh, so the idea is that this morning we'll get a bit of training and then this afternoon, um, if we're feeling comfortable enough, which hopefully we will, we'll be taken over to Apo Island, which is known for its turtles and a coral reef as well. around the boat, holding onto the sides, practicing, <laughs> just practicing breathing really, practicing going down a bit deeper, what happens if our snorkels get full of, um, if our goggles get full of water, what happens if we drop our air, what's it called? Our, um, yeah, apparatus. But Danny's having a bit of trouble with his ears. colourful the coral was and there's so many different types I couldn't even imagine so many different types of coral some were you know really tiny flowers and some look like like massive mushrooms and pads. yeah big lily pads and it was really cool and then all the different fish that we saw underneath as well um, what do we see we saw trumpet fish trumpet fish like long kind of angel fish yeah uh, I saw some clownfish like Nemo's. Um, yeah, I, was, I saw a sea slug as well. And then, what was your highlight? I did up some personal with a turtle. It came straight at me. It did, and it was so cool. It was one of our bigger expenses we've ever had on this trip, but for, for the experience, it was really, really beautiful, and it was definitely worth that extra money that we paid. Yeah. Um, and also we've done something new that we've never done before. Um, so I'm really, really pleased and I feel like we picked the right spot to do it as well. We went with uh, Dimagetti Divers. So if you want to go, we do recommend them. They were really good and probably the most competitive price we found as well. Um, 
that really is it now.